everybody, it's Garrett from TAP TV. Are you planning on visiting the Grand Strand soon? Well, before you do, here are a couple things you need to know before planning your Myrtle Beach vacation. Now one thing you want to think about is what time of the year you're visiting. I know a lot of you are probably families and have kids and can only really come during the summer, but there are definitely pros and cons to coming at different times of the year. Like right now, it's late October when we're filming this, and the weather is beautiful, beaches aren't as crowded, water's still very, very nice. Now in the off season, you kind of run into some of the attractions being closed. Like right now, there's still plenty of things open, plenty of things to do. This is actually my favorite time to come in October. It's when I recommend people coming because you get to avoid a lot of the crowds of the summer. Obviously, summer is when everything's happening. There's lots of people, everything's open. We're all having fun, so that's definitely a good time to come as well. But don't forget to think about maybe the off season or the shoulder season. Next thing to think about is what area of town you want to be in. The Grand Strand is called the Grand Strand because there are 60 miles of unbroken beach. So there's a lot of places to be. Um, if you want to be in the middle of everything, obviously you want to be close to downtown where it'll be. But if you're looking for something a little, a little quieter, maybe you're trying to do an adult getaway, say a little further on the south end or maybe up in North Myrtle. But don't forget to think about the smaller towns like Surfside Beach, Garden City Beach. Everything is a real quick drive away from where. So even if you're down in Surfside, you're not that far away from everything. this is a big one, make sure you budget money for activities. Now there are lots of things you're going to want to do here. You're going to walk down the street and see a zip line, want to do a zip line, that's extra money you didn't budget for. So make sure you're planning on really taking a look at all these activities that you're going to be doing, especially if you have kids, especially if you have family, they're going to want to do all kinds of fun stuff. My next tip is don't be afraid to be a tourist, but also don't be afraid to branch out and see what we have to offer. Obviously, Myrtle Beach is full of things to do, full of very touristy destinations, lots of really cool shops and shopping centers. If there's one thing we know how to do, it's a little shopping center. Um, but don't be afraid to branch out and see what we got to offer. We have a really, really good, thriving local art scene, local music, lots of local art, really, really good restaurants. So don't be afraid to branch out and see what we have to offer. Jessica from Facebook says keep an eye out for the Monster Coupon books. They are everywhere and they are full of deals. Myrtle Beach is host to several bike weeks. Be aware when they are. They're usually in May and early October. These events can be a lot of fun, just don't be surprised by them. Courtney from Facebook says mini golf is a must do. We are the mini golf capital of the world. We also have more full size golf than you could possibly play. Renting beach chairs can be pretty expensive. If you don't bring them with you, it might be cheaper just to buy some while you're here and then give them away before you check out. Kayla from Facebook makes a great point and says, Go to places other than the beach for a day, like downtown Conway. We are close to a lot of really, really cool day trip destinations, so take a day and go down to Georgetown, Charleston, or even up to Charlotte. But above all, be sure to enjoy the beach and have a great time. And one more tip. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at TapTVTweets and Instagram at TapTVInsta. And don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoy the video. See you next time.